Uh, David, uh, DeviceScape has made some key announcements over the past couple weeks leading up to CTI and at CTI. Can you talk at a high level about some of those announcements? Absolutely. So the first announcement we made had to do with an app that allowed people called Magnify that allowed people to actually trial our service here. We have 60,000 hotspots just in Las Vegas alone that we're curating. The second thing that we did is we announced something called the Personal Curator, and the Personal Curator helps people get on to a home Wi-Fi. Turns out that, in fact, 30% of people aren't connecting optimally to home Wi-Fi from the data that we have. And then the third announcement we made um, is that we have 1.5 billion connections that we're actually processing per month on our network today. And that is a network of hotspots that have been curated both in the US and around the world. We have 12 million hotspots. So that 12 million number uh, comes into 1.5 billion connections uh, per month. And that sort of really comes to life when you look at it in terms of a particular local city. So what I was going to do is show you how that 12 million corresponds to the city of San Francisco and also New York, and just looking at that in detail about how our network would compare to a regular cellular network. Now before you go into the demo, uh, you talk about a, a lot of numbers. Um, why do people care about that? Okay, so the reason that the size of the network um, is so important, uh, because for mobile operators, effectively what it means is uh, 12 million hotspots turns out to be 75 times more capacity, what we call capacity reach, for a mobile operator. So when a mobile operator is looking to process all this data that's happening from all this smartphone use, we can turn on a network of amenity public Wi-Fi that we're quality controlling and allow our customers like Metro PCS, US Cellular, Republic Wireless to get connected uh, to this to connect their customers automatically to it. So for users it means that I'm connected to Wi-Fi seamlessly automatically all the time. For operators it means that they can help users manage their data and they can also manage their data and drop the data delivery costs. And how will Hotspot 2.0 um, impact this, impact your company and impact this data? Absolutely. So Hotspot 2.0 is a, is a perfect initiative for helping operators connect with public Wi-Fi. Um, but there's all sorts of things you can do in addition to what Hotspot 2.0 is about. For example, in Hotspot 2.0 there's no notion of quality. We quality control everything, so we're measuring the quality of the connection in real time. You're still going to need to do that in a Hotspot 2.0 world, even when there's a standard, right? Um, Hotspot 2.0 is also about a relationship between operators and venue owners. Well, it turns out that there's millions of venues out there, right? So that's a lot of relationships to go and get. So the large brands are going to go and move into the, the Hotspot 2.0 era, but all those small mom and pop shops out there, the proposition is, is uh, something you can't do quite as quickly. And so having a solution like this that, that doesn't matter what standard you're, you're on, whether you're on the standard or whether you're just on open Wi-Fi, being able to connect to that in a seamless, automatic, and curated way is what we're all about. So it doesn't matter what language you're speaking, we find a way to connect to that hotspot. Thank you for your time. Perfect. So we're going to quit, and now we're going to go to that.